Hey, welcome back to the boat shop. You guys ready to get to work? All right, we're gonna uh, update a little bit on what's been happening with the gasser build. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, interior construction. We're gonna talk a little bit about water lines. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about weight. Uh, not your weight, doesn't matter to me, but the weight of your boat. Gotta be right, okay? Uh, first thing we'll talk about is um, how about our water lines? Okay, if you've been following along, if you're building a boat, do them now, get it ready. You'll regret it if you just wait till later. I usually wait until I've built the whole doggone boat and then I try to set up the interior and drives me crazy. Stupid way to do it. Um, the motor we're using uses two inlet water lines. See those two fittings right there? Three exits. Uh, Quick Draw, who manufactures this motor, says uh, don't run these exits together. Run all three of them separately out the hull. Okay, how are we going to do that? We're coming out the side. We're going to install some uh, aluminum tubing. And it runs through like that. Why is it so long? Well, because I don't know exactly where the side is yet, but our non-trip is actually out here. You can see this little piece gets added on. Our Sponson transom goes about here, right? So our non-trip's gonna be out in this neighborhood here, and these three will exit right here, and they'll run to the engine right here. Nice and easy, right? Okay, that's step one. Uh, some of the interior stuff we've done is we're starting to install the upper uh, deck support ribs along here. Uh, you'll see this kind of doubles up here. That's because the right here is the portion where the sponson takes off and the deck drops below, right? So we need some decent material to attach to the side as well as some decent material to attach where it begins to drop away, okay? So that's why we have this kind of doubling right here. You don't have to go all the way back to here if you don't want to. It's just really super convenient. Um, I don't use big giant quarter inch uh, uh, pieces here. I just think it's unnecessary. It's heavy. Um, I do add, you know, an eighth inch onto this 16th inch structure piece here because a 16th is really, really thin. And if you grab the deck and you squeeze it or whatever, once the boat is assembled, it's really easy to crack your, uh, the wood over something that's really, really narrow. So that's really the only reason this piece is added. Uh, right out here at the corners of the non-trip, this is also uh, uh, eighth inch material that'll get added on here. Uh, I don't worry about making this really big because I have the two uh, pieces of you know, decking material, the non-trip and the top coming together, so it's pretty strong. Uh, I realize that's not a real wide surface to, to glue to, uh, but keep in mind that your, uh, your 16th inch material will be on the side, so it's actually 3 16 once you've got the 8th inch and this piece on there, so it's, it's reasonable. Uh, it'll hold well. I've done it. It works. I've uh, done it with the 8th scale. Uh, let's see, we've laid down a little bit of uh, structure in here. We're reinforcing the floor where the strut goes. We've made our strut mount. We'll talk more about this later, okay? Upcoming video. Uh, this is eighth inch laid over top of 16th inch. Uh, it's very, very stout. Uh, I ran it all the way forward. Two reasons here. Now, don't ever do what I say. Uh, <laughs> let me back up. Don't do what I do. Uh, do what I tell you. What I tell you is try to build it really, really lightweight. What I did here is I added in because I thought it looked cool. Okay? Don't ever do that. Right. But I think it looks good. Uh, actually, it does provide some uh, structure to the floor. If I ran this just straight across, it could flex somewhat pretty easily here. So I lied to myself and said this is going to increase the strength. Uh, and uh, that is a good thing in the strut. And why do I not feel really badly about that? I'll tell you why. Water line. Remember I told you that we've got uh, uh, two inlets, right? Two underneath the exhaust here. So they're going to approach right in this neighborhood. So we have two pickups on our rudder that isn't there now, but we do have it mounted. That's why the holes are there. Uh, we have it ready to be mounted. So you got two pickups here, and what are you going to do? Well, you're going to take some tubing, right? It's really hard to do with one hand. Trust me, this is enough tubing. It runs from the back to the front, right? What do you think this weighs? I'll tell you, it weighs one ounce. Okay, I gotta run two of them, so there's two ounces. Plan B. 
aluminum tubing with a little bit of rubber on each end. This guy I'll run through the middle here. Attaches to the motor up in the front. Runs through these two holes here. Attaches to my rudder back here. Did I say rudder in the front? Attaches to the motor in the front. Attaches to the rudder back here. I don't know now. These are one shot takes, baby. One shot. What do you think this weighs? Well, I'll tell you. Weighs one half ounce. Okay, so I'm going to use two of these. And that'll be one ounce, which weighs the same as one rubber. So I'm going from two down to one ounce. I have saved, in my mind, I have saved one ounce. You know what one ounce looks like? I'll show you. That's one ounce. This is eighth inch. It is light ply, but it's eighth inch ply. Look at this big piece, strong stuff. One ounce. If I save one ounce on something that is uh, unimportant, well, it's important. Okay, water travel is important. I gotta have water to cool the motor. But it's not at all structural, it's just a thing. So if I can save one ounce there, I can add a little bit somewhere and not feel bad about it, right? The way I see it, I've saved myself an ounce. I, I announce I can add this much stuff or epoxy or whatever. Speaking of which, check this out. Where's it at? Over here. Look at that. No, it's not uh, vodka. Wish it was. These videos would be a whole lot more fun. What do you think that weighs? That's epoxy. That weighs one ounce. Look at all that. Man, if I can save an ounce somewhere and then know that I can use a little bit of extra where I need to, structural, make it worthwhile, make the boat stronger, mm, I'm going to do it. Okay, so the last piece that we got to install on the interior here, that's not the last one, but this is just kind of an example of how the ribs go if you're actually going to buy, uh, buy this kit plan from me. Okay, fits in the front. It's really hard to do with one hand. Fits in the back. Here, I'll attach it here. That'll make it possible. Uh, okay. Now it fits up into the front. Awesome. Why am I using a piece this wide here where I've already got eighth inch? Well, because not all of it's going to get covered. The deck will end just part way onto it. Okay, can you see that? And the reason for that is when we mount our cowling, this is my eighth scale. It's very similar to what's going to go on here. Uh, it'll overlap that little section right there. So that's where the cowling will sit when this is assembled. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Finishing mounting these uppers. This piece over here, I know it looks weird right now, but it'll make sense. This section right here will be cut out. It's only there right now to hold this contour shape. Uh, I got a piece here somewhere. This will actually get added back here. This piece will remain. This part will disappear, so you'll understand there will be a little cutout area here. And the deck will have that same cutout. And the tab will extend from the side of the cowling in that area. Uh, reason for that is to allow the, uh, the carburetor to drop straight in and out. So the motor will simply bolt straight down, come straight out. Yes, I'm using floor mounts. Okay, we might talk about that at some point. Uh, I believe that is the smart way to go. Uh, well, again, we'll talk about that later. See these here, extra holes? Dumb, right? Mistake? You won't see those later. <laughs> Part of the art form of building a boat is to learn to cover your mistakes to make people think that you're really good at doing it and that you didn't make mistakes. Oh no, you won't see my mistakes. Okay, that's where we're at. And uh, my alarm is dinging because I got to go to dinner. Uh, and when I get back, what am I going to do? I'm going to work on a boat. All right, shut the video off. Like it first. Subscribe. Shut it off. Go to work. Go build something. See you next time.